In the chaos of displaced people and destroyed homes, Albertans have come together to help their neighbors in need. And when the city of Calgary asked for a few hundred volunteers, it got a few thousand. They were sent out in busloads to help rebuild and, in the spirit of that city's motto, to move onward. The CBC's David Gray went along for the ride. Oh my goodness, look at all of you. This is our city. This is the spirit of our city. In a city with still far more questions than answers, this was an easy one. The mayor asked for help, and Calgarians came. We have been overwhelmed with people who want to help in whatever way they can. But we're ready. Are we ready to help out our neighbors? They came from all over the city, all walks of life, thousands more than organizers were prepared to deploy. Oh, look, there's a lot of people behind me too. Hello, everyone. I can't go to work and I want to come here and I want to help out other people who have lost everything. Good, good, thank you. Those lucky to get a form filed into buses. Thanks for volunteering and please keep this with you in order okay. to get on the bus. Have a good day. Be care wherever you go. Hi there. Thank you. <laughs> So why did everyone come? Did anyone get this uh, orientation form? No. no. Okay. Do you have any special skills you can add today? Yeah, I can clean clean up pretty good, I guess. <laughs> Two strong hands. Yeah. <laughs> good for you. After days of sirens and non-stop reports of devastating damage, most just felt the need to do something. What do you expect you'll be doing today? Whatever needs to get done. Help out some way, even if not everyone came entirely prepared. I'm checking out your footwear. How much planning ahead did you do today, folks? Let's take a quick look. <laughs> That's awesome. Those are comfy. <laughs> we got flip-flops runners. I recommend these, by the way. <laughs> this was a first for the city, a collective call to arms. The rollout was exceedingly cautious. Hoping to get mud on their hands and boots, volunteers were instead asked to hand out pamphlets. Yeah, we we're going to need more of these. <laughs> Not the hands-on experience they were hoping for, but at least a start. In the door. And at the other end of the pumps and hoses, a wellspring of gratitude. Hi, I'm David. David. Hi. Nice to meet you. <laughs> you. Want to show me your basement? How is it you're staying so strong through all of this? Well, just because of the support. You know, otherwise, I'd be nuts. <laughs> I would. What yeah. do you make of the way the city's responding? Oh, I mean, it's, it's great, but that's Calgary, eh? You know, there are thousands of volunteers out there wanting to help out. What do you make of the volunteer effort? It, it's amazing. Last night when we were hauling stuff out, there were people just walking down the street, and they are like, can we put on some boots and help you? And we were just about to leave the place, but it was pretty <laughs> heartwarming to see that stuff that you haven't seen in a little while that brings back memories you really have to try and hard not try hard not to I guess reminisce as you're going through things is that part of the trick don't look that's really it you, you don't think about it so you start thinking about it then you it kind of gets to you what's to say about this city this is a great city it's a great city though isn't it it really is the city now promises to try this again in a town known for volunteerism and city pride, it's a way to allow people to get involved. There's no doubt this is the greatest natural disaster to ever wash over Calgary, greeted now by its greatest collective effort to fight back. For The National, I'm David Gray.